Hey, what's going on, guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and RIP to my 2080 Ti people. Whether you built a mining rig or a gaming rig and you bought this card brand new, I am sorry. With the RTX 3000 series just around the corner, uh, it's unfortunate, especially if you just bought the card recently. Because, uh, I mean, the 3070 is going to perform roughly equal to or slightly less than the 2080 Ti. And we got the 3080 going to beat it. We got the 3090 obviously going to beat it. And it's just sad how NVIDIA uh, cuts you guys like that. And, and, you know, just going over real quick, the G, uh, GeForce RTX 3070 has 5888 CUDA cores and a boost speed of 1.73 gigahertz and I'm sure with some fine tuning depending on the cooling and the environment you may be able to get that a little bit higher because we know that the RTX 2080 Ti has 4352 CUDA cores and uh, sits about 1.63 gigahertz and, and people were able to get much higher than that Um, in some cases hit uh, 2 gigahertz so the performance is there for the 3070, the disadvantage to the 3070 is that the 2080 Ti has uh, more memory, 11 gigabit, uh, gigabytes versus uh, the 8 gigabytes that we're going to see. Now it is just going to be GDR6, not 6X like the 3080 and 3090, but it's still, of course, obviously with architectural improvements um, and more CUDA cores, stuff like that, that the 3070 is going to perform equivalent or a little bit less than the 2080 Ti, depending on some titles. We'll wait for some independent reviews on that. But for most, most gamers, they will see that the RTX 3070 beats out the 2080 Ti. The price point that that card is planned to come out is $499. Of course, if add-in board partners and stuff like that, various models, we're going to see that thing be anywhere from uh, you know, $500 to $600. Why am I saying this? Well, at launch, the 2080 Ti was a thousand plus and I've seen most of those cards sell for 1200 1300 depending on the manufacturer model and all that good stuff and even right now on Newegg the prices are, are still very very high if not higher now standard you should be only if you're buying it brand new from a, a, a vendor like Newegg or a, a known vendor it's gonna be around 1200 bucks like we see here with the EVGA black edition However, if you see the $1,700, $1,800, $1,600 price, usually 9 times out of 10, it's going to be not by the vendor directly. It's going to be from a third-party vendor selling on that site. That's why we see the $1,700 price point. And these guys are trying to get rid of these GPUs. They're trying to get rid of these GPUs before the 3000 series officially launches, which is going to be not too long. Time of recording it is September 7th, and on September 17th, we do have the 3080 coming out and on September 24th we do have the 3090 coming out so they're trying to sell these GPUs because I believe once that those launch we're not going to see much of it the used market though man the life of a miner did a twitch stream last night building out a rig a mining rig with the used uh, GPU price market of $650 so you can get a 2080 Ti for around 650 let's say 650 to 700 dollars if that's the case that's almost a, almost a 50 percent if not 45 percent price decrease so the value or the 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 money that you can make by reselling your 2080 ti that's a huge deficit that's a big decrease and that that's that's rip 2080 ti users people who build mining rigs with it because let, let's just do some quick math compared to Nvidia who kind of chop off the heads of their users let's say that the 3070 is 550 right and we want to build an eight card rig out of that that's forty four hundred dollars let's say we bought the 2080 Ti brand new around twelve hundred let's say eleven ninety nine times eight look at that price difference now let's say we're building it from the used market. Let's do let's do six fifty. Let's do six sixty. Just to, just because of tax and all that good stuff. Just just ballpark it times eight. Fifty two eighty. The difference, you know, you could have saved almost a thousand bucks, or if you bought it the twenty eighty Ti brand new, you could have saved almost five thousand dollars. 
if you would wait for the 3070. But unlike NVIDIA, our guys over at AMD may not have the top card, may not have the best card, may not have the NVIDIA killer, but it's got a great budget to performance ratio. Around launch, the RX 5700 was 350, depending on the model uh, and manufacturer or model and, and make. Uh, the 5700 XT was around $400 and the anniversary edition was around 449 but the XT we, but we all know was anywhere from 400 to like 480 depending on the model uh, and make and then the 5700 was anywhere from 350 up to 400 depending as well and even right now look at that on the brand new market we're still sitting a year later well not excuse me September 2020 so past a year and the prices are still relatively competitive on the 5700 XT and 5700. Now the ASRock Challenger, I bought 350, but now it's 385. I wouldn't recommend the card, and if you haven't seen it already, there's a number of reasons why I wouldn't recommend the card, and I'll have the links to my videos in the description, because I had to do a lot of modifications just to get the thing to stay cool, especially when it comes to mining, because the memory gets really hot. And unlike NVIDIA, AMD ages like fine wine even in the used GPU market so we can see first off before we jump into the used GPU market we can see that we're still sitting around the price point of anywhere between 350 to even 450 I wouldn't pay 450 for a 5700 I would pay like maybe 380 to 400 for an XT and maybe 350 to 380 for an, uh, a non XT model but it's still around the price point when it first launched. The X, X, FX uh, triple dissipation used to be the thick. 400 bucks. Of course, we know the ASUS Strix is a little bit pricey. 444. The Gigabyte uh, XT, the RX 5700 XT, 400 bucks. Look at the used market. Some, some of them are a little bit overpriced or shouldn't be priced that high, but the used market is, is pretty much on point. You know, we can we can see that the power color rx 5700 xt is 369 dollars uh free shipping all that good stuff uh, obviously there's gonna be tax in there and everything and then we have the mac which is overpriced we got the sapphire pulse which is 375 so it's around the same price around the same price why is that well we got miners who've increased the demand for it because you can build a pretty good rig that has a decent ROI for these GPUs and the resale value is still there will the resale value be there after Big Navi comes out who knows but let's just say in this scenario if I were like okay I want to I want a dedicated rig to mine uh, Ethereum or some type of ETH hash token what GPU should I use yeah the king is the 580 still is might still be after Big Navi comes out but the 5700 is a pretty stout setup. So you build a rig out of that, or should I wait for Big Navi? I, well, I would say go, f go for the 5700 XTs or the 5700s now. Yeah, you can, you can wait for Big Navi, but the 5700s, in my opinion, is gonna still be relevant. However, if you do 2080 Ti versus the 3070, should I wait for the 3070 or should I build a rig out of 2080 Ti's? I would wait. So unlike Nvidia where I would say wait, because the, the, the next gen cards are going to be better than an overpriced uh, last gen card. AMDs, you can't go wrong either way. Whether you wait for the big Navi or you go with the 5700, it's still a good decision compared to the 2080 Ti. And I feel bad for people who bought a 2080 Ti recently, especially close to the MSRP of $1,000, because it's just, it's not not good especially in the mining world it's not efficient right so the 3090 may be a powerhouse but it's not efficient um, the 20 the 3080 seems to be the sweet spot the 3070 may be a good card but we won't be able to tell you until people in the mining community such as myself are able to test and provide the data to you if you were to use an RX 5700 XT right now you'd be making close to two dollars um, after electric maybe 160 170 depending and of course, we can push these cards a little bit higher. Uh, if you got a 2080 Ti, you're making about 270, but after electricity, close to two dollars. So it is a difference between one card and one card. 
but the price difference to build an entire rig especially if you bought those cards at msrp it's just not it's not efficient it's not good that money is better spent elsewhere so i feel bad if anybody just started building a rig of 20 ATIs and they play, paid close to MSRP, if they paid 800 or less, maybe they might be all right. If they paid 650 or less, they're in a better position. But honestly, for the 3070 being anywhere between 500 to 600, that would have been the better buy. And these generational improvements usually happen maybe once every two years. So keep that in mind. If you pay attention to when these GPUs launched, uh, it usually happens once every two years. Obviously, AMD uh, may not be the same uh, because they they released in July of 2019, and Big Navi may be coming out towards the end of this year. So that's a it's a, under two years, but a little bit over a year. So, anyways, guys, do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out, subscribe for more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about the 2080 Ti, whether you bought one recently, whether you built a, a new mining rig, maybe you just bought one for your gaming rig, whatever it is, let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you. Sound off, and I'll talk to you guys later.